there's a new home scam that's coming out here in these streets. I want to share that with you, and then we're going to go over it, and I'm going to have this conversation with you in its, in its entirety. WWL investigator David Hammer has been tracking a spate of real estate fraud this year, and tonight he exposes a new kind of fraud involving a Metairie contractor and fake home improvement loans. David Bryan and his wife Anne Marie both grew up in New Orleans. They met at Tulane. About 25 years ago, we moved away to Minneapolis. But now they're missing home. Hold on one second. We're going to be retired. Hello. This is Anton. I'm doing well. Yeah, uh, I spoke with somebody about the lot already. Yep. Thank you, love. Yeah, so wait, 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 wait. Let me just confirm that he said what it is that that um that I was saying. So th my logic is obviously I'm trying to buy up swaths of land so that I can build within a city and things like that. But he was saying that I'd have to go through a process where basically I had to submit a proposal of what it is that I wanted to do with the land so on and so forth. Um, but then in addition to that, that it would be at least almost up to six months before they even reviewed a proposal to decide whether or not they wanted to sell the land to me. Yep, that's pretty much how it is. He told you correctly. And this particular lot of land, because it's North Cork Town, the land bank is really looking for a new bill in field opportunities. Yeah. So they're not looking for someone to just kind of hold on to the land or make a garden they want to increase the housing stock which so, is fine i have no problem with building it but the problem is why does it take them so long to review my proposals that is an excellent question i know they're limited staff and they have just so many proposals to look at and not all of their land is listed with agents like us some you can go on their website and just bid and you don't have to write a proposal but the ones that come through an agent you need to write the proposal whether it's vacant land single family multi-family commercial it doesn't matter if we're marketing the property for them then it has to go through that uh, proposal process okay. and with that then i don't know if he told you that you also need to include your in, in your proposal your not only your plans but you have to include your funding how you're going to fund your proposal so well, I'm paying, about a I don't bid. I don't need any I don't have any um financing I'm I have my own money so it's all oh, coming up right. yeah 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 you would just have to show your bank account you would block out your account number but you would have to show that you have the funds accessible to do whatever you're proposing that you want to do okay I have no problem with, yeah. with giving my bank statements and things like that Okay, but yeah, he told you pretty much the yeah, it's, it's taking about five or six months right now. And that's a very good question. Um, I know they go internally, they have a board, they review it, and it's just a process. And why it takes so long, I don't know. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna um, yeah. get the proposals together and things like that. I guess I just got to go through whatever it is that I got to go through. So. Yeah, did he did he happen to see the guidelines of what they're looking for? Or can you, you email it to me? Oh yeah, I can do that. What's your email address? Anton Daniels four one three at gmail dot com. Okay, so let's go over the spelling because sometimes the receptionist um, doesn't spell it correctly. Yep. So let's a go through the A N T O N. Okay. Daniels D A N I E L S. Okay, four one three at at. Yep. Okay. Yep. I can see the guidelines right now. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Take care, Anton. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Retiring mm -hmm. soon, and we wanted to. We still have family and friends here, and we wanted to uh, come back uh, once once we're both retired. They bought this uptown house last year, ready to make it their forever home. Then one day this spring, David got this in the mail. You owe $45,000 on a loan, no payment due right now. It seemed kind of fishy, but you get those every once in a while. You know, you've been pre-approved, so I kind of ignored it. But I, it was suspicious enough that I hung on to it. And the next month, I get another one. It was from a California lender called Goodleap. 
which offers home equity loans for energy-efficient projects like solar panels or new doors and windows. Brian had never heard of Goodweep. He asked the lender to send him documents from this supposed loan. There's his name on the loan application and an electronic signature. But the only thing that matched the real record was your name. Was my name. Not your social security nope, number. Nope, not my phone number, not my email address, nothing. The, on the whole process from begin, beginning to end, they didn't seem to do their due diligence. Not on the loan application. Not on paying the loan proceeds either. Good leap and was he and it paid the construction company directly, Deep South Renovations. It, it, and, and they did it and they didn't have any proof that the work was done or anything. They just took their word for it that the work was done, paid them directly the $45,000. Goodleap slapped a UCC lien on Brian's property for the unpaid loan. It said he got solar panels, but he didn't. Deep South Renovations told Goodleap Brian got new doors and windows. He didn't. And he's far from alone. So basically the new scam, the new scam is this, guys, is that because everything is electronic now and because it's easy for you to, for people to just go a DocuSign or whatever like that, they're basically targeting your properties. Now be, be very careful of this. They're targeting your properties and then they're taking out alleged loans, they're buying alleged things and then they're billing the company and it doesn't matter whether you give them your real social security number it doesn't matter if you give them anything all you got to do is know who the owner of the property is and then whomever it is that issues the loan then puts a lien on your house even though they can't track where it is that they issued the funds to uh bifm send me an email i definitely will they're so eager to get your business that now they're issuing loans in your name, even though they don't have your social security or anything, because you are the homeowner and saying that you requested all of this and getting a bag from these companies. The companies then slap a lien on your home. And then that's the, the determining factor for whether or not they get paid, because when you sell your home, then a certain amount of those funds are supposed to be issued in order to pay the loan back. That's crazy. That's crazy to know that somebody can get a loan in your name and they don't even have your social security number is wild. They don't do any verification. They don't verify whether or not the social security number actually matches up with the name. You just giving them any social security number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's so easy to get finessed out here in these streets. A UCC lien is where a creditor is putting a lien on a property to put others on notice that the, he has an interest in something in the property, whether it be furniture, equipment, or in this case, I'm going to read this super chat shortly. Solar panels that never existed on the property, but that's what the UCC lien said. Lauren Griffin is a real estate attorney at Crescent Title. One of her clients also got a lien from Goodleap, also for solar panels that never got installed, also for $45,000 that went to Deep South Renovations. The only way that my client found out is because someone notified him, someone who also was a victim of these UCC liens. I figured that I couldn't possibly be the only victim. So I went back to land records and I printed out, um, at my expense, about $250, um, copies of all good leap liens in Orleans Parish. This um, third victim the, uh, said he's afraid to give his name because he's the one who filed this police report against Deep South Renovations and reached out to warn as many people with good leap liens as he could find. And Sounds like somebody over at Deep South Renovations caught a bag. I wonder where this is going to lead. And subsequently I heard back from about eight. Now the FBI is investigating. The FBI called me and they said, no, it's a bigger, it's more than 10, it's more than one lending company. Law enforcement sources say Goodleap paid Deep South almost a million dollars for about 20 bogus loans. Somebody got a bag. I've spoken to the FBI um, twice, but I know that they're investigating. Investigating Deep South and its owner, Samantha McGee. I know that her um, contractor's license for this fake company that she established has been removed. This is Deep South's supposed office. <laughs> oh, 
man, hold on. Oh, no, not Samantha McGee. Samantha McGee, that's a, a famous name from an actress, ain't it? Samantha McGee, that is so, oh, somebody is finessing good leap out of a million dollars. A vacant storefront in Metairie. We found McGee recently took out a $450,000 purchase bond on this Metairie townhouse. The seller says McGee paid the first 50000 and stopped, and now he's going to have to evict her. U.S. Marshals confirmed they went to the house last year to arrest McGee for failing to show up in federal court on an unrelated matter. Neighbors saw her pull up in her late model Mercedes, but she wouldn't answer the door or any of our phone and text messages. I think it's, it's really galling that somebody can get away with this so easily. Extraordinarily easy because Goodleap doesn't do any due diligence. Goodleap Vice President Jesse Comart says the lender has, quote, an extensive due diligence and fraud prevention process. Now, if that was DJ Envy and Cesar Pena, they would have been under the jail. <laughs> yo, yo, let me tell you something. Samantha is not a black name. I'm going to just be honest. McGee, I've never, ever seen a McGee that was black. Hold on. What is this video calling me? Hello? I've never seen any of that. Anybody named. Now, she driving back and forth in her Mercedes and ain't nobody tripping about it, right? She just pulling up. Don't even pay it no more. Got the bag. Vacant storefront. We don't even know if that's their real name. But Samantha is out here driving around in a Benzo looking to purchase an Enzo and ain't nobody tripping about it. They see her drive back and forth. None of that. Let me tell you something. But if it's DJ Envy, they coming for you. They coming for you. Yes. But he says Goodweep was victimized by, quote, a highly sophisticated group that appears to have the ability to create or obtain fraudulent Social Security numbers and then associate <laughs> the SSNs with innocent property owners. He says Goodweep referred the case to the FBI in Sacramento and has been cooperating with the federal investigation. UCC liens are now a new kind of fraud that we... AWOL says I'm in a class action lawsuit with Goodleap for a solar system. Really? That's crazy. We haven't seen before, and so when we first got this call, this was new to us. Um, but fraudsters are trying anything they can right now. In the meantime, Griffin says property owners should guard against those fraudsters. To protect themselves, people can freeze their credit. Um, if you're in Jefferson or St. Tammany, there are systems in place where they notify you if anything's been placed on your property. But hopefully the other parishes will follow suit in that, and that everyone can be notified if something is put on your property, whether it's real. You know what? This is too difficult, honestly. It's too difficult. It really is. Like, now you got to put a freeze on your credit. You got to do this. You got to do that and all of that. You're supposed to just be able to live as a regular human being. You're not supposed to wake up and see some mail that you possibly didn't even check in your mailbox, then putting a lien on your property for something that you never took out. And then the person allegedly that's, being accused of it is just driving back and forth in a benzo to their crib every single day. Popping cranium, time out popping cranium real quick. We don't want that on our uh, live stream. Or fraudulent. The Orleans Parish Clerk's Office says it's in the final testing stages for a new notification system like the ones in Jefferson and St. Tammany parishes. Property owners will be able to opt in for email alerts starting in January. Too late for people who only learned about Goodleap liens while trying to sell their houses or get legitimate That's loans. Messed up. And too late for victims like Brian, who had to pay a lawyer and fight for six months to get the lien removed last month. If it didn't happen to me, I'd sit back and think, boy, this is ingenious, you know? At least he can laugh about it now before he needs a real loan to start the real work on his retirement dream home. Nah, fam, just do it in cash stop taking out loans you don't need no loan just chill out but again the latest loan the latest scam and y'all got to just look out y'all need to make sure that y'all monitoring y'all credit 
Make sure you're monitoring what's happening with your properties. Check on your stuff on a regular basis. Check on your loved ones. Check on your grandmother. Check on your mother. Check on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people out here uh, finessing and getting over on you. And they riding around and ain't nobody got no identification of what they look like or nothing like that. And they just out here riding around and they ain't got no problem as a result of it. 